orders. Dana Clendenning, President and CEO of Embry Liquor, can answer any operational questions. And I would point out that we will all be here for a few moments after the press conference if you'd like to speak one on one with any of us. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great day. Questions? Mr. Clendenning, uh, why did it take a long term lease to uh, make this possible? Um, the lease that we have uh, negotiated with uh, JDI is a 23 year lease. Um, the rate is uh, $22.50 a square foot. In order to get a rate that was uh, basically that part of rent, and in fact that is a very competitive rate if you were to check with uh, other developers uh, in the city, you would find that that is a very competitive rate. And, uh, in order to get that rate and make it feasible for us to operate a liquor store, we agreed to extend the standard term of our leases. Usually <coughs> our leases are 10 years with five year extensions. But as part of the negotiation to make this project work, we agreed to a 20 year lease and a, a very competitive market rate of $23.50 a square foot. Mr. Valcour, why did this deal work when other deals didn't? Um, you know, I would say that even the 20 year aspect of the lease was critical from our perspective because you, because you can appreciate we're investing a significant amount of capital uh, with no funding uh, from any agency. And uh, the return on that, uh, frankly, is marginal, um, even at 20 years. So with other tenants or prospective tenants, uh, they typically, as would typically the, I guess the, the liquor commission, would be looking at a 10-year lease. And it, you just can't justify um, and, you, and I'm sure you can appreciate, we don't really know what we're up against with the train station. We've, we've got estimates and opinions. Uh, but until you actually get in there, and we have some experience in St. John with this energy and restoration, um, you know, you tend to find things that uh, tend to cost more money. And so really the 20 year lease was critical to getting this job done. Shall that one? Um, why, why did it take so long? Why did uh, Irving uh, didn't do anything before? And uh, I guess $2 million is not a lot of money for Irving. So why did that building, why did you guys let that building rot for so long? Well, that's a, you know, that's a very fair question. Um, and I won't hide behind the fact that Parks Canada uh, has to approve anything to do uh, to that building, whether it's to repair the roof or, or make any, any changes whatsoever. Um, it's our responsibility, it's our building. And we're not very, uh, we're not very happy with the state of the building today. Um, but uh, frankly, um, again, we were working and have been working uh, behind the scenes, I guess, for a number of years to try and get uh, a viable commercial project that would help us to justify uh, the cost of the restoration. And uh, you know, that's a plain and simple answer. Okay. Or what side, uh, it has been a long time. Uh, if you think uh, the ways of living? You know, I've said <coughs> probably just about anything that can be said about the train station over the years. <laughs> and, uh, and as I said in my brief remarks, uh, today is a day of celebration. Uh, I'm not looking back. I'm just glad to be here. And, and I am more than confident that NB Liquor and, and Irving are going to do us proud in this redevelopment. Yes, it's been a long time. No doubt about it. But we're here. And that's the great news today. Okay, Angela. Mayor Woodside, what do you think this is going to mean for the neighborhood in particular to have a facility like this? Yeah. I think this will do for that neighborhood the same thing that Willie O'Ree did for that neighborhood and Grant Harvey will do for their neighborhood. It will act as a catalyst for development. You will see this entire area now take off and uh, with great development potential. So we're just seeing the first piece. But until this was identified and, and this situation rectified, uh, things haven't happened down there. I, I believe that's about to change, and, and that's another good part of this story. Okay. Are we good? Any more?